Right, I just thought I'd let you in on the latest firing. I've had a couple of firings. Uh, this is one I took out this morning. These are those uh, sake bottles I did the other day. It's quite nice. I'll bring this outside so you can see it. That's quite good. And there's the other ones. As I've mentioned before, I split my firing into two. The bottom layer is a biscuit firing, the top layer is a gloss firing. So I've not took these out yet. This is the uh, oxide slipped onto uh, biscuit wear. It's onto leather hard and this is the biscuit firing that's come out. It's quite nice, it's gone quite dark. That'll be nice with this green glaze over the top. So they've come out quite well. You probably can't see it on the video but at the very edge of the uh, splashing there it goes a paler colour so hopefully the glaze will pick that up when I fire it next few days. And here's one, here's a test piece. This is a once fired raw glazed piece. It's the same glaze that we've got on these bottles here. That's glazed onto biscuit ware. This is just a dried pot. It's on quite it's gone quite thin. I just dipped it very quickly because I didn't want the pot to start to deform from soaking up all the water so next time what I will do is dip it let it dry and then dip it again so it will be twice dipped so I'll get a slightly darker green on it like this here but that's gone really well uh, so they're quite pleasing the other ones are in here Get some glaze on those this afternoon, see if I can't get them back in tomorrow. That's quite good. The previous firing I had uh, were those little sake balls. Put my hand in so you can see how big they are. A little thumb imprint for drinking. These have got copper carbonate painted over the top and it's bled quite a bit. I quite like it. Oops. Uh, but I lost the detail on it. But they look quite nice. What I have got with it, and I don't know if you can, you'll not pick it up, is that the the glaze is crazed a little bit. It doesn't quite fit the body. That's because I've got an earthenware glaze because I can only fire to 1060 on a stoneware body, and it's never fitted. But I'm really bothered up to now. If I go back in here, what's happened with this glaze is because I've put 3% copper carbonate in and 3% bentonite, there's no crazing. So I've cured the problem with the previous pots out there by putting some bentonite, and I think it's fitting the body, fitting the clay body a little bit better. I mean, really, I should throw with white earthenware and put an earthenware glaze on it but this is the clay I use for my raku and I really can't afford to buy four or five different types of clay I use the same clay for everything so uh, economics has forced that problem something I didn't mention before with these this is a, an ordinary sake bottle it's only got one pouring rim these ones here that have got the thumb imprint I've got two pouring rims, one on each side, because that's for a right-handed person. And obviously, <laughs> that's for a left-handed person. So it needs two rims on, so it's not handed. Anyway, so I'm quite pleased with those. It's worked all right. Turn around, I've just had a bit of a sweep up, you wouldn't be able to tell, but there's the pots for the sale next week, all piled up in the corner. So we're finally getting somewhere. Um, I'll show you the results of these gla these pots here having been glazed with the uh, copper oxide glaze. I'll do them in the next few days and I'll post the results of that. They look quite, quite pleasing, I'm quite happy with that.
Amazing, 52 years old and you start getting excited again. Wow, brilliant.